This lesson is on simplifying algebraic expressions. So simplifying just means you're going to rewrite it in a simpler way that does not change the value from the beginning of the problem. So if we look, take a look at example one, it says simplify completely. So what that means is since in between each of these terms, there's a plus and a minus sign, we're going to add and subtract. So in order to add and subtract, they must have identical variable parts. That means everything needs to match. B's with B's, A squareds with A squareds, AB's with AB's. So they have to have the same exponents and the same variable to combine the like terms. So when we're combining them, we want to write our answer in standard form. That means alphabetical order. So if we look here, I see that A comes before B in the alphabet. So we're going to start with we have a negative 5a here, so notice I'm circling the sign in front of the number, and I'm going to look at this as a negative 5a. And then over here, we have a 7a. This is a to the fourth, so they cannot be combined with these two, number, these two terms here because they don't match. So these ones are going to go together, and this is a negative, and this is a positive in front of the 7, and a negative in front of the 5. So because they are different signs, that is why we are going to subtract. So we're going to take the, the 7 and subtract 5, and we get 2a, and then we look in front of the bigger number, 7 is bigger than 5, so since that's positive, that's how we know this is a positive 2a. Now, we also have another term that has an a. So when we write our answer, it's always alphabetical order, but both of these have the letter a. So when they have the same variable, it always the one with the higher exponent goes first, and the one with the lower exponent goes after. So we're going to put the negative 3a to the fourth in the front, and this was a positive 2a, so we're going to put a plus there, because again, 7 was larger than 5. So in front of the 7 was this plus, that's how I know to put a plus there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take care of the b. So again, this one doesn't have an exponent, this one has a 2. So we have a negative 3b squared, and a negative 2b squared. So since this one's a negative value and this is a negative value, they're the same. So when they're the same, we add. So we're going to take 2 plus 3, which is 5b squared. And since 3 is larger than 2, we look in front, and that tells us what we put here. Okay, then we have the 2b, so it's a positive 2b, and then at the end, always last, is the constant. The constant is the one with no variable, so the positive 10 will always go last, the one without the variable at the end. Example 2, since a comes before x or y, we're going to do the negative 2ab, so that's a negative value, or negative term there, and then here we have another negative term there, so they are both the same, so we're going to add, so 2 plus 2 is 4ab, and since they're both 2, if you look in front of them, we're going to have a negative 4ab, and then here we have a 5xy squared and a 2xy squared. So since this is a positive 5 and this is a positive 2, they're the same. So we're going to add 5 plus 2 is positive 7xy squared. Now hopefully you're wondering, well, why aren't we doing anything with the exponents? Why didn't we add? There was an a here and another a here. Why are we not adding the and putting a 2 here? So let's talk about why can we add and combine terms that have the same variable, and why are we leaving the variable part 
the same instead of adding the exponents. So what we just talked about up here was that I can take 2x plus 5x, and since they're both positives, they're the same, so I add, and I would get 7x. So why is it not 7x squared? Why is it not that? Well, if this is a, a variable expression, and we don't know what x is, that means we can let x be any number right now. And, as, and whatever number we pick, if we put it here, here, and here, both should equal. This side should equal this side. So go ahead and pick whatever number you want. I'm going to go with 3. So I'm going to let x equals 3. So I'm going to go back to the original problem that we were given. And I'm saying it equals 7x, not 7x squared. That's wrong. So if my answer is right, then when I plug in that random number, any random number, so if I pick 3 and I put 3 everywhere there's an x, let's see what happens here. So multiply, that's 6. So when you have a number next to a variable, that means multiply. So we're doing 2 times 3 here. Here we're doing 5 times 3, that's 15. And we get 21 here. Well, that's what 7 times 3 is. It's 21. That's why I'm not adding the exponents. When I'm combining the like terms, remember what combining like terms means. It means you're adding and subtracting the terms together. We leave the x as x. We don't add the exponents. Because if I were to put the 3 here for this x, we would get 3 squared is 9 times 7 is 63. We don't get the same value here because this is not equivalent. Okay, so to illustrate that one more time, we cannot put these together. This has an x squared and this has an x. So this can't be simplified. We can't combine these together. Again, why? Give x a value. So I'm going to let x be 2. So if I take the original problem and I replace the x with a 2, whatever number you want, exponents first, then we multiply, multiply here, we would get 18. If I were to put these together and combine them, and write it as 7x, and then we were to add the exponents, 2 plus 1 is 3, it won't work. If I put 2 in for x, and we do exponents first, so 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8, and 8 times 7 is not 18. It doesn't work. No. So that's why you cannot put even though the variables are the same, they have to have the same exponent as well. Variable and exponent. So again, why? This is an example of why it doesn't work to combine them. All right, let's take a look at example five. So I'm going to go ahead and combine. That's a positive 3a with a negative 5a. So they're different, so we would subtract. And then since 5 is larger than 3, I look in front, and that's how I know it's a negative 2a. And then we are going to combine a negative 8b, so that's a negative, with a negative 2b, so they're both the same. So we're going to add, so 8 plus 2 is 10, and they're b's. And then 8's bigger than 2, so I look in front, and that's how I know to put the minus there. And then we can't put these two terms together because the variables don't match. Example 6. Here we have a y plus a y. So if a variable has no coefficient, that means number in front of the letter. So these letters right here have no number right in front of it. That means there's a 1 there. So we'd have a 1 and a 1. They're both the same sign, so 1 plus 1 is 2. So we would get 2y. 
So the reason why we can put a 1, if we have a y, the reason why there's a 1 there is because a 1 next to a variable means multiply. And you can multiply any number by 1 and get the same number itself. So that's why there is, you can put a 1 in front of any variable as the coefficient if it's missing 1. Alrighty, example 7. So we can combine 5x, and it doesn't matter the order, so I could do 5x and x, because this is a positive, and this is a positive, 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So these two here make 6x, and then I would combine it with a negative 13x. And so here we have a positive, and here we have a negative. They're different, so we subtract. 13 minus 6 is 7x, and 13 is larger, so that's why it's negative 7x. Okay, example 8, we have 1x, take away 1x, so this is a positive 1 and this is a negative 1. They are different, so we subtract. 1 minus 1 is 0x. So 0x, that means there's nothing there. So 0 next to an x means times. So 0 times, if x was 5, 0 times 5 is 0. If x was 3, 0 times 3 is 0. So this is always equal to 0. No matter what x is, when you multiply it to 0, you get 0. So we're not going to write 0x. That's not completely simplified. 0x is just 0. Alrighty, example 9. So here we have all terms with x's, so we have to look at the exponent. The one with the highest exponent goes first, and these two match. They are like terms, so we can combine them. They're both positives, so we can add them since they have the same sign, and we would get 9x squared. And then we can combine the 4x with the negative 8x, and this one's positive, and this one's negative, so we're going to subtract. 8 take away 4 is 4x, and 8 is larger, so it's going to be negative 4x. So that is our final answer there. Let's do one last one here. We have um, like terms here. We have a negative term here, and here we have a positive so they're different, so we're going to subtract. 7 minus 7 is 0b. So 0 times anything is just 0. So just 0. But then we have the constants, the 3 and the negative 10. They don't have any variables, so they go together. And here we have a positive, and here we have a negative. So they're different, so we subtract. We get 7. And we look in front of 10 because it's bigger than 3, and there's a minus right here, so our answer is negative 7.